Hey, what is up everyone? I hope all of you are doing great. In today's question, we have half ring of mass m and radius r is released from the position shown in the diagram. A small point mass of same mass is also fixed at the end as shown in the figure. If the initial acceleration of point mass m is g by beta pi, then find the value of beta. Okay, so acceleration we need to find out the initial acceleration right so for that we need to find out the angular acceleration first so let us check out the solution so as you can see this is a semicircular ring whose center of mass lies at a distance 2r by pi from the origin at that means the geometric center okay so and there would be another force due to this point mass mg but the actual torque will be created by this one so the torque will create an angular acceleration alpha for that we need to find out the moment of inertia of the whole structure with respect to this axis right so first let us find out the moment of inertia of this semicircular ring so that would be let us say i prime so if there would have been a complete circular ring and and if we divide it into two parts m and m that means the whole mass of the ring would be 2m so for that the moment of inertia of the whole structure with respect to this axis uh, would have been 2m r square and using parallel axis theorem we would add another term 2m r square that would give you 2 4m r square so the final moment of inertia of this semicircular ring would be half of this one so for the whole structure it would be i prime divided by 2 plus m 2r square so this is the moment of inertia of the whole structure along with the point mass so the torque created is mg times perpendicular distance so mg times this is the perpendicular distance okay that is equal to i into alpha so the angular acceleration created for the whole structure is this one so the linear acceleration is alpha times the perpendicular distance that is twice the radius of the semicircular ring so this is the linear acceleration and uh, now we need to find out the beta so beta is 3 by 2 that is 1.5 <laughs> very easy anyways i thought it would have been a difficult one but uh, um, okay i will try to solve a more difficult question in the next video till then i'll see you in the next one peace take care